goodness, thank you so much for having me, Denver. Hell yeah. If you guys are wondering how this went, they're like, who can we put up your song on? How about the most opposite person ever? <laughs> I am in from Indiana, so if you saw me lurking in the back, you're like, I think that's Cornfield Bigfoot. You're right. <laughs> uh, me and my girlfriend have been living here for a couple of months now. We're just staying for a little bit, and I love your town. Uh, one, though, I found they don't finish construction, but two. <laughs> That hit harder than I thought. <laughs> you guys need a new government. <laughs> but there's a sign at the construction spot that won't stop, and somebody graffitied it, and it said, want a bump, ho? <laughs> you want a bump, ho? Are you kidding me? That's so, I said that to my girlfriend every time I wanted to have sex, and it worked. It was great. <laughs> Also, you want a bump ho? How progressive is that? One, it's asking for consent. <laughs> Two, it's non gender. And three, we all know ho is a great term in endearment now for a good sex person. <laughs> <laughs> but then my neighbor came out and she's like, Have you seen the graffiti on that sign? <laughs> I'm going to have the city take it down. And guess what her name was? Karen. It was Judy, but close enough. <laughs> so it just said bump, and I stopped getting laid. It sucked. Uh, <laughs> but, guys, Denver, this is a story about you and the triumph of the human spirit. Somebody else in a different format, re graffiti the sign, and you are a bump ho is back! So, uh, I know we live in a weird time, and uh, some things are getting taken away from us as a society, and fuck that. But, I did something for my girlfriend last November, turns out, loophole to the Supreme Court. <laughs> I think this is the perfect time, as a country, we can all come together and say, let's talk about balls, baby. <laughs> let's talk about vasectomies. Let's talk about all the good things that can happen, except babies. <laughs> Hell yeah, where's my clip crew at? <laughs> no one? <laughs> yeah, we be a yes, I got a couple of guys for that. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's the perfect low key energy. Well done, guys. You, the rest of you, can learn a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I've been telling that joke a little bit now, and it's kind of hard, and I'm just like, I don't think Denver spays or neuters anything here. <laughs> but it's perfect, and then look, I know when I say this, I can see it in guys' faces. They're just like, yeah, but I can just use a condom, and we know you're not going to, okay? <laughs> and sure, I'm not ripped for her pleasure, but I'm snipped for her peace of mind. <laughs> It was amazing. Men's health, I can do anything. I showed up the day before Thanksgiving, they're like, yeah, we can get you in. I was like, Doc Carvey's like your turkey. She's like, I gotcha. And yeah, I had to ice for two straight days. But fellas, like Jesus in April, on the third day, it rose again. And guess what, it feels better. It's completely guilt-free painting from Lady Labyrinth. It's amazing. Yeah. Let's get that skin to skin. We all, we're animals. Let's fuck like it. Woo. Woo. Monogamously, or whatever you agree to with your partner. But yeah. Woo. And look, this isn't going to solve everything, and I know it's a hard sell to give to guys when we still have trucks with nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to make an offer to you guys tonight. If you sniff somebody's truck nuts, I will pay for your vasectomy. <laughs> and that doesn't mean you can't have kids. There's so many ways. You can reverse it, you can adopt. And they even told me, if you ever want to, we suggest you bake some sperm. 
Now, for me, it didn't work because I was like, well, if your bank's anything like mine, they're gonna look at me and say, you don't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, get a vasectomy. If you're sad and you don't wanna pass it on, get a vasectomy. If you believe in climate change or can't drive in a lane, it's time to get a vasectomy. If you're going to prison, you probably don't need it, but get one anyway. <laughs> if your job's too busy and you can't make birthdays or games, get it then. <laughs> if you're worried about a second family, <laughs> or were born into a cult, <laughs> it's time to get a vasectomy. <laughs> Hell yeah. God, I love you guys so much. All right, that is my time. I'm going to bring up Selma, but just remember, it's not just vasectomy, it's vasectomy you too. Yeah.